Hey guys, I'm back. Today, I'm going to read a book about Curious George and the Ice Cream Surprise. And this is five of this is a three of three. What I got? I got little monkey, and it was, it was very curious. And that's a nice name, Chuck George, with the man with the yellow hat. You know, sometimes this here when you start hearing the music of ice cream truck. George loved chocolate and loved ice cream. Ice cream would taste so good on hot days like today. He would find this wonderful ice cream truck right away. He started to climb up the window, but his friend stopped at him. George, have you finished breakfast? By the time George rushed out of the door, the music was gone. Don't worry, George, said the man with the yellow hat. The ice cream truck makes a trip around the town each day. All summer long, we'll catch the ice cream truck. Catch the ice cream truck tomorrow. Next day, it was hot day and hotter. George waited for ice cream truck. There was no sight of it. Let's go to the pool, George, said the man with the yellow hat. George ran, get, ran to get his towel. Splashing around the pool would be great, way to beat the hot pool closed. But the pool was closed for relievance. It sounds fun, but George needed to cool off. Not in the autumn. So George went back for waiting the ice cream trucks. He dreamed of vanilla chocolate and strawberry ice cream bars. George thought he heard them music of the ice cream truck. George and his neighbor decided to go park to run through the sprinklers. But just as they arrived, the sprinkler was turned off. George it was a long way back home. Luckily for George, lemonade waiting for him court. George took a drink and made it warm. Sorry, George, the man with the yellow said. Our freezer had decided to stop working. Uh, our ice cup path melted. No would be perfect time to hear the sound of ice cream truck. Wait, was, was that it? Yes, there was the truck running out of the corner. Wave down, George. I'll be right back with my wallet. Wallet. The man would rush back into the house. George looked back to his house. He looked at the truck. Then he had an idea. George climbed up the tree and swing of the branches to the branch until swing right into the roof of the truck. The, he rolled the truck into the town. The truck stopped it beside the town park. The window slides open. The small children and his mother stopped by the ice cream. 
George could not believe his eyes. The girl had ordered frozen treat looked actually like chocolate covered banana. Good dance happily. So ma many people waited for ice cream. Ice cream that the driver ran out of change. He hurried over to the river bank to get more. Meanwhile, George noticed that ice cream line was getting very long. Everyone looked hot. They were, there were no shade to stand in. Maybe he could help. Rush jumped down to the truck. It was dark and cool. He grabbed many ice cream bars, corn, and ice bar as he could. He handed them out of the way, waiting children, their parents, even their pets. What have you done? Cried. Cried when he returned half my ice cream is gone. George climbed the telephone pole. George was very glad to see his friend hurrying toward the park. It was thanks the mayor and the office to pay everyone an ice cream. Thank you. Spoiler the ice cream every day somewhere. Ice cream man saved one last one last tree for George. Mm -hmm. Here is George fun fun. Thank you for listening. Bye.